Parkview Community Greenhouse. My name is Camille Schulke and I am the greenhouse farmer here. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of the Parkview Greenhouse and show you all of the really cool grow methods that we have here as well as the beautiful different colored produce that we have. The greenhouse is sectioned off into two main growing styles. Half of it is hydroponic, and the other half is a non-hydroponic, more traditional greenhouse nursery style of growing, so pots and flats, for example. Here, we have something very similar called grow bags. We're growing carrots in them, so the carrots fit really well in the grow bags, and you grow a beautiful carrot every time. And we're doing multicolored carrots, so we'll have purple, red, some of the orange, and then, of course, some white, too. You'll also see some sweet alyssum and nasturtium all around the greenhouse because those edible flowers attract beneficial insects. So the beneficial insects eat the bad guys, so they help me do my job. Also in grow bags, we're growing snow peas. These are a trailing variety. Some of them come in bush, but here in the greenhouse, we have the ability to trellis, so we're growing those. These are a lime green variety, so they won't get that dark green like a typical snow pea that you might see at the store would. But did you also know that you can eat the leaves of peas? So those are really great to throw on a salad. And then over here, we are growing a few different kinds of bell peppers. So again, we'll have different colors in the greenhouse so this variety here this is a white and then on back here we have a purple bell pepper and then we also have more of the traditional green orange and red as well we're growing six different kinds of tomatoes. Two of those are cherry tomatoes, a gold and a red. The sandwich tomatoes are the big ones that you slice up and put on your sandwich. Those, we have a purple black colored sandwich tomato. We also have a red and a gold. And then we also have a yellow and orange striped tomato as well. So along the side of the greenhouse here are grow racks. One thing that I'm growing in the grow racks are the small baby carrots. So I'm growing those in these deep flats. You can kind of see them along over here. The flats are about that deep, so I get the perfect baby carrot every time. Also on the grow racks, we're growing various herbs, some such as cilantro, basil, sage, thyme, marjoram. So here we have some cilantro, and I'm growing those in more of the shallow flats. So unlike the baby carrots, these are only about two inches deep for these. And then this is the propagation rack. So I start all the seeds here, and then once they turn into little plants like this, then I'll transplant them to another area in the greenhouse. The greenhouse is controlled by this system here. All I do is get in here and program the settings to whatever the greenhouse needs to be. I program the temperature, humidity, this helps me with the lighting, and also some shading factors. Another really cool feature about the greenhouse, besides the controllers, is our rain barrel system. The rain barrel system collects all of the water off of the greenhouse and the building next door, the learning kitchen. So the rain barrel is a 3,000 gallon tank and that provides all of the water for the whole greenhouse. This is the hydroponic side of the greenhouse. What hydroponics is, is soilless growing. It's just that simple. There's a tank at the bottom where there's a water nutrient mixture that pumps that water nutrient mixture up to the top tank where the plants are. The plants uptake that water nutrient mixture and then whatever they don't uptake goes back down to that bottom tank and it just keeps recirculating. This is the ebb and flow system. So in the ebb and flow system, I am growing kale. It's kind of a compilation of the two different grow methods, the non-hydroponic and the hydroponic. This is the deep water culture system where I'm growing various colors of Swiss chard. So you can see we have yellow, orange, red, white, all different colors of Swiss chard. The water from the bottom tank to the top tank flows at a much slower pace, so it actually looks like the water's just sitting in the tank, but it's just moving much slower. And these systems here are called a farm wall, so what's neat about them is they're going vertical as opposed to horizontal as some of the other systems in the greenhouse. So because we're going up in the greenhouse, we're utilizing 91% of the space in the greenhouse for plant production. And this system here is called a tower garden. So this system's also going vertical, so that's neat. It takes up smaller space. And in here, we're growing what's called pak choy. This is a purple-red variety of 
of pak choy, and then we also have some sweet alyssum infused in there. So here we have the NFT system. That stands for nutrient film technique. In this system, we're growing three different types of lettuce. One of those is a red romaine lettuce, a green romaine lettuce, and then a red soft leaf lettuce. Thank you for joining us for a tour of the Parkview Greenhouse. Feel free to check out our website, parkview.com slash growgreen, for more information about events and classes.